Alrighty, well, welcome to the Mario Kart Course Exhibition. Now we're back to Mario Kart Arcade GP2. So this time we're gonna pick Peach. Because, yes. Alright, so, you know, as usual, just use this our, our, our sand card looks like. It's. Alright, I guess. No big deal. So this time we're going to Mario Beach. Note the icon for Mario Beach right now. It's nighttime. And, yes, even if it's nighttime, even the icon says it's nighttime, the course itself. Will not be at nighttime. And no, I don't know where to actually change it so it can be nighttime. So let's just go with it on daytime. So here it is Mario Beach. So, yeah, so right now, as you can see, right at the bat, that it looks, it's, again, like with, er, like with uh, Yoshi Park, starts out similar to Mario, Mario Highway. But this time, you're going straight instead of, instead of turning red right, right at the bat. In order to reach the beach section, which is this, it kind of looks like a jungle of sorts. And here's the sand, of course, and this is where the beach ends. <laughs> yep, that's all there is to it. Of course, this is a little alternate highway to get back to the um, the main highway over there. Back to the Mario Tunnel over there. That's it. That's the beach part of Mario Beach. You're already, th you're already thinking, well, that's kind of lackluster. But trust me, there are courses that are way worse than this. Especially what I consider my favorite course in, in GB2. It's even worse, though, than this. All right, so yeah, going past the uh, the jungle-like sections of uh, Mario Beach here, as you see, there's some uh, little huts there. Yeah, all right, uh, and all of that just a little alternate thing. And yeah, you, you, you've seen everything. Other than that, it looks pretty much like Mario Highway. So <laughs> there's really nothing really to it. And yes, I have seen the um, the Custom Track Grand Prix of Mario Highway. Uh, Oh, it's all right, I guess. It's no big deal. Oh, by the way, that turn over there, what I just did right now, that's probably one of the hardest turns in the game. Or at least, from what, or at least what I think. Yes, there might be one. It's probably one of the worst, but not the worst. But it's one of them. Because no, like, no matter how hard you do, you always end up hitting the wall. And when you hit the wall, you lose a coin. So, no biggie? Question mark? But whatever. So, yeah. So, Again, yeah, it's kind of no big deal. Let's see what we see here. Let's see some arrows there, some trees, right? Some pineapple plants, right? Uh, ba more banners, huts, some piantas. That's it. Oh, and a blimp, yeah, but that's been there already. So yeah, that's Mario Beach. That's aesthetically the same, essentially, as Mario Highway. It's, you are thinking, what's the point of, you know, make, what's, what's the point of just altering a bit of the course and calling it something new? Well, I don't know either. It's just like, yeah, yeah, I don't because I don't understand myself like why they just put you know just remix a course essentially just like put add a one bit to it and just like you know it's called a new course. But watch the alternate course as you've seen it's nighttime so therefore, yep, the alternate course is straight up nighttime. So I find that pretty cool. If you wanted one using Mario instead of Peach, well, because it's a Grand Prix, you only really use one character. Of course, there are ways for me to use other uh, other characters during Grand Prix, but. It's kind of risky even my, even myself, so not doing not doing that. So a little bit of cheat cheats there. Get some again with the uh, you know Piranha Plant, some huts that are light, you know, things are lighting up. It's it's pretty cool overall. This I definitely like the course mu a bit much better at nighttime. Just like it just it just feels like you no know, like an all night car or go kart racing. By the way, yeah, see like a lot of the items here again. The star, of course, lets you get invincible. Of course, that's what the star always does. Watch this. Yeah, yeah. There's some items that are straight melee weapons in in in, our, in arcade. So, yeah, there's nothing, nothing just about the usual just carts stuff that slow you down like this thing here, which gives you a flat. I think it doesn't give you a flat tire. I don't remember. Oh no no. Oh, you hit my pins, right? Yeah, there's some you know, uh, weird like pin hazards. Stars, which um, Bruce BC and it's a little shield. See that what you what you did with Drift before I started got a little got a little thing around me? That's a shield. So during that time you could um you know uh, essentially negate some items. So even if you don't have a star, there are ways to get items. However, it's pretty tricky you need to get the timing correctly. And yes, I did this turn very well, both because I actually got used to it. So that's it. I got really even much to say. So you can tell by the rating I'm going to give this course just by me not saying much. Although, 
yes, I could tell, tell more about the items and how there are different classes of items and how, like, there's some melee, some range, some you, you only throw back, you only throw forward. Uh, some that deliberately just change, you know, make your car slower. Some that, you know, just need to spin out, whatever. That sort of thing. That's kind of the, the you know, the usual stuff. Alright, so I got anything else to say. So, for this course, Mario Beach, I can miss an A. Like with our highway, this is very average. There's nothing really noteworthy to, to say about uh, the Mario Cup in general. Will it get better? Yeah, sure, I guess. But uh, really, we'll just see in time. So, yeah, that's it for Mario Beach. So, I uh, hope to see you again for the Waluigi Cup. So, anyway, see you guys later for Arena Stadium.